wake up! What is it, Donnie? I traced the binary code from the transmission I established with Master Splinter and located the source! Master Splinter? Father! Why ain't he talking? Donnie! What gives? What you're looking at is just one small piece of Master Splinter. A data bit that contains only a fragment of his essence. Uh, Donnie, explain it to me like I was Mikey. Hey! It's what I've been working on these past few weeks. Trying to find out what happened to Master Splinter after Viral blasted him with that decompiler. And it's as I suspected. Master Splinter's in cyberspace, apparently separated into what could be thousands of these tiny bits. He must have been transported there with Viral when she made her escape. There are still so many questions that remain, so many variables to determine. But even so, our next move is clear. It is? Yes, we're rescuing Master Splinter by going into cyberspace and getting those bits. So in theory, just like the transcendental lathe from 2105 works the molecular transference at a rate of a million parts per millisecond, this portal device will make our trip into cyberspace instantaneous. At least, in theory. I'm bringing along some special cyber gear. I've made a cursory study of Viral and her abilities, and I've incorporated as much as I could into some new defensive programs. So we'll be ready for anything. That is, if all my calculations were correct. But I suppose we'll find out soon enough. We will? All right, ready or not. Whoa, Donnie, don't you think you're rushing into this? Maybe, but time could be a factor for Master Splinter. We simply don't know how long he can last in cyberspace, let alone in his decompiled state. And I'm not gonna wait around to find out. <sighs> Donnie, wait! Come on, we're going after him. Ugh, all that talk about transcendental transference and molecular milliseconds made my brain hurt. First, you gotta have a brain, Mikey. Now let's move, and let's hope Donnie knows what he's doing. At last, a little peace and quiet. Not that I can enjoy it in this dreadful time. Wow! This place is too cool! Kinda creepy if you ask me. What the shell? Look out! Stay close to me, guys. We've got a lot of ground to cover. The effects of the decompiler spread Master Splinter's data bits all over cyberspace. Whoa! My fellow cybernauts, we are bravely going where no turtles have ever gone before! The digital world! Cyberspace! No turtles have ever done any of the things we do. Touché! What is all this stuff? Gaming nodes, online reference streams, data codes, everything that makes up the internet. I knew it would be big, but this... It's gonna be tough getting around in here, let alone finding anything. That's why I've been working so many late nights. Behold, the Code Runner. Whoa! 
ho, ho! I think I'm in love. Ooh, I want one! I want one! Raph, Mikey, say hello to the Cyber Ripper. I've outfitted each vehicle with tracking devices and defensive capabilities. And I think that you'll be quite pleased with how they handle. They're configured to run on code pulses that flow through the terrain here, so we should be able to race them pretty much anywhere. Race them? Now you're talking my language! He would be talking to you, Raph, if he were talking about being second! I hope you like looking at my back! <laughs> huh, we'll see about that. You'll need more of a head start than that! Now this is what I call surfing the net! Oh, that was awesome! Sweet! Yeah! Enough forcing around, guys. Remember, we're here for Master Splinter, and from the looks of it, we're closing in on the energy signature of his data bits. Score! Looks like we found three of them! Strange, there's another surge, and it doesn't match Splinter's bits. In fact, its signature is similar to... Virals, only much more powerful. We should be careful. Relax, Donnie. It's the internet. There are energy surges all over the place. Come on! <laughs> Look! There they are! Master Splinter, not to fight. <laughs> yeah? Tell it to him! Turtles, I learned that you are still alive, but I had not expected to see you here. Likewise, Buckethead! I see you're looking more twisted than ever! Last we heard, you were in prison in some far-off asteroid with zero chance of parole. I know not of what you speak, but you should have learned by now that nothing can stop the Treader. I've long since been prepared for any contingency. You see, by an amalgamation of Utram technology and your pathetic Earth machinery, I long ago created a digital engram of myself, a backup that was constantly renewed and could be resurrected should anything happen to my corporeal form. This engram was locked away for safekeeping in a data vault until some strange cyber life form attempted to break into the vault and activate its defense mechanism. The mechanism that released me allowed me to absorb and commandeer this viral being so that I am as you see me now! <laughs> I would wonder how you came to be here in this digital realm, but it matters not. You soon won't be. Now that I have you within my grasp, you shall be destroyed! Uh, Donnie, cyber weapons? Red button! That's more like it! Let's kick some cyber shell! Why does this guy get harder to fight every single time we meet him? You have no hope of defeating me! In this digital domain, I reign supreme! I'm 
starting to think he has a point. Donnie, can you get us out of here? This way! Later, Shredhead! I think not. Mikey! You are going nowhere! Hold on! Having trouble finding something to hold on to! It is. We're in an accounting software program behind several firewalls. The safest place I could find at the spur of the moment. And we're still here because... Because those three bits of Master Splinter are here. And we're not leaving without them. Uh, unless you missed it, I almost got zapped into cyber dust just a second ago by a virtual version of our favorite pointy-headed villain! Mikey's right. If we're gonna stay, then we need to find a way to take on that Cyber Shredder. And I may just have one. I was hoping to work out some of the bugs before attempting a field test, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Or in this case, Cybernaut Armor. <laughs> Does it come in any other sizes? <laughs> I told you there were a few bugs. Now listen, this cyber armor should help, but if we're gonna stand a chance here, we have to take advantage of the fact that we're in cyberspace. The rules of the real world don't necessarily apply. We have to start thinking like cybernauts. I'm not picking up any traits of the cyber shredder. Then let's go get those three bits of Master Splinter! My onboard scanner indicates they're up ahead! Still no sign of the Shredder! minutes to create a conduit to store these data bits in a safe place. We got you covered, Donnie. So far, so... Huh. Hurry up, Donnie! We've got company! Coming in at 12 o'clock! Need more time! Wait a minute! I've got him coming in from 6 o'clock! Uh, according to my thingy, he's coming from this way! Oh, pain in my shell! Why doesn't he just come out and fight like a turtle? I almost got it. Yeah, well, the Shredder's about to get us, too. Here it comes.
I need more time to secure the data bits. Go for it! Meanwhile, we'll give your Cybernaut armor that field test! Not this time! We're ready for you now! Is that so? Guess I wasn't thinking like a Cybernaut. Thinking never was your strong suit. Let me show you how it's done. Where did he? Donnie said the rules are different here. Gotta take advantage. Gotta think like a Cybernaut. Keep him busy. I'm almost done here. I got him. I actually... Well, I had him. If you can hit him, I can hit him. Ha! So far, so good. Yeah! Ha! Pathetic worm! You cannot harm me! Think like a cybernaut! <laughs> yes! No! <sighs> Donnie, status! Not yet, sorry! I've never done this before! Cannot destroy me, but I can destroy you. Uh, uh, Donnie, are you done yet? Just a little more time, guys. It's a slow, intricate process. Can you be slow and intricate faster? Get out of here. Get Mikey. I'll take care of the shredder and get Wrath. I'm just a metallic speed bump, stuck here for your convenience. Wrath, you okay? Yeah, but next time, I'm driving. And the next time will be soon. There are a 
lot more of Master Splinter's data bits in there. And we're not gonna stop until we get every last one. Even if the Shredder is in there waiting for us. have a cyber portal. Interesting. Very interesting.